Hello and welcome to this week's video where I will be using my Cricut and a cut file created by one of my friends who I will tag in the comments below so that you can uh, check out her page and uh, if you're interested get some of her cut files. So this is a home, the word home, with a little house cut out of it and I absolutely love this when she made it so I was really keen to use it. Be using picture and I'm actually going to use the house that came out of the cut file. I've got some black uh, alphas and I'm just looking for an at in my stash of wood here um, so that I can have my title stuck at home. So I want this to be very monochrome so we're black and white so I am colouring that wood chip in. Um, I will give this a couple of coats of paint because as you paint one bit you then see another little bit that you've not painted and getting all of the edges and all of the sides done uh, I find difficult to do it in one go. Uh, so I'm going to pop those things out the way and I am going to use more paint and I'm going to um, use this ruler. So I'm just taking the end of the ruler so that I can get the cutter off because this ruler has a very thin end one side and a thicker edge the other and I want the thick edge, I want to be able to use this on the page. So I pop some paint along there and I am going to be smearing this back and forward, uh, back and forward and up and down just to really smudge this paint. So sometimes I'll put just a little bit of paint on and other times I'll put a little, a little bit more and quite a lot of paint just to give different texture in different places on this page. So just decided there was a bit too much paint there, I wanted that to go lower down. And this is just really to create a very, very funky uh, background uh, with a lot of interest. At the top there, I didn't find that it had enough of the actual ruler line in it, so I went back over there. And it really doesn't matter if you keep going back over the same place until you get what you're happy with. Um, so in the middle there, I know where I'm going to put my title and I know where I'm going to put my writing. So I didn't want a lot there. And as you always see me do, I'm here cleaning my ruler and then I will put it back together again because I like to clean and tidy things away as I go along. Um, I'm now giving another little bit more paint to the other edges on the at and going to pop that aside after I've finished that off. So I'll be happy with that now. And I'm going to spray water onto the, my bit of paint here and do some splattering on the page just to give a little bit more texture and make it just that little bit more messy um, than it was before. And uh, I think I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go off and wash that. Now my, dry, my page is completely dry, so I'm sort of going to pop these things where I want them and think about what else I might like on the page. So, as I said, the title is going to be Stuck at Home, so I'm just going to cut out the letters here just to see how much space I have, how, um, how I want this set out, just to give me a better idea. I'm not going to stick these down yet, but it's just to sort of give me an idea of what space I've got and what I've got available to me. So I have this delusions pack of uh, snarky sort of comments. It's called Big Back Chat and I decided to, uh, I had a phrase there I wanted to use. And I asked my son what colour I should use and out of all of my scraps he chose these two colours, uh, two um, patterns of paper that we're going to pop on this. So I thought because it's a picture of him, I would ask him what colour to use. The photograph doesn't really have any colour in it, um, so it didn't really matter what colour we went with the black and white. And he decided green. There was a tiny bit of green in the photograph because there's trees in the background behind him. And I was quite amazed that he went for that really, really funky, almost 1970s type green um, paper hand paper but I'm now just drawing around my home just to give me an idea of um, the shape and the size of cutting this out um, so that I can back the H, the M and the E. So um, I just drew around that and I'm sort of going on the inside of the line because of course the line was on the outside of uh, the writing. So this is not going to be perfect but it gives you a good starting, uh, starting point um, for what this is going to actually look like. Uh, as, I, as I build this up, I actually build it up 
as it ends up. Sometimes I'll sort of chop and change and not quite happy with that so move it around but actually this page worked out an absolute treat I was uh, really really pleased with the end result so the cut file is so easy to back <clears throat> um, so you've just got those three bold shapes you've got your H your M and your E and you've got the house so there's not a lot of it's not really really fiddly like sometimes flowers can be quite fiddly but this really is not so I am going to just have a look at these um, in view in line of um, wanting to stick this down now and get it all complete so I'm just having a look and thinking okay a little bit here and a little bit there could be chopped off um, and uh, just chopping those bits off so that it fits a little bit better but of course there is always the possibility that you don't get all of it now you'd want more than less on here some people stick it in place uh, and then cut round it um, and uh, some people cut it out perfectly me I find sometimes it's perfect sometimes it's not I'll stick it in place and I'll still not be entirely happy with it when I've stuck it down because this is a black title and then I'm putting this paper which is obviously quite a light color you're going to see it along the edge and because of the look of this page I did want this very very stark so I've come in with my um, pen here which is a flex mark Marker. It's part of the Pro Marker family and black, uh, this one's black. So I'm actually colouring in the little bit that you can see of the white uh, just so it's really bold and it's um, it, it, it doesn't show any of that white behind it or green, pale green behind it, um, just to give it that sort of fab look. When I cut the uh, M and the E, I realised that the M was a little bit shorter but actually didn't cut it and I didn't cut the top bit of the M out, the little triangle bit either which I knew I was going to have to do when I popped it down here. Again that's that's just what I'm doing there and the E needed a little bit more paper off the, the E so I'm just going to cut that off as well <clears throat> and stick it in place and then the house actually doesn't need to be cut down anymore because I can overlap it can um, overlap the H and the M um, because they're already backed so you're not going to see it so pop this in place and then again we do our little little bit of trimming where we where we needed and then I'll come in again with my uh, pro marker or flex marker um, just to make that really really pop and really really black along the edges there so you don't see any of that white coming through and uh, I think this is absolutely a lovely cut file in it and it worked so easily and so nice and um, yeah, I'm so pleased with it the story behind the photograph I guess I should tell you is my son who who doesn't like to particularly be in my videos hence why I've covered his face um, was ill just after we went into lockdown and he had a fever and of course anyone who had a fever or any sort of um, <clears throat> illness everybody had to go into 14 days lockdown so this photograph he sent when we sent him out to the shops because of course he got better and we were still under another week's worth of lockdown so he was able to go out and we were not so he's written along this photograph and posted it on his um on his blog just got better and already kicked out of the house to buy people stuff he was of course out sent out to buy food so that everybody could eat not just him but uh you know 19 year old boys don't really see it that way so the uh, Dilusions writing that I found says so much to do so little people to do it for me I thought was just perfect. I'm just going to pop some um, foam pads underneath the photograph to give me a bit of dimension because I think rather than backing the photograph which I was uh, contemplating doing originally I'm going to put some tags behind the photograph um, so that I can add some extra journaling there so that's what I'm doing here so um, adding that and now I'm adding these words which I thought was just perfect um, a little bit of sort of a snarky cheeky sort of comment to go with a cheeky sort of comment on the um, on the photograph and everything else that I want to say I can write on my 
on my little journaling card that I'm going to create. So I'm pretty happy with this now. So I'm going to stick down the title and uh, pop that all together. There's not a lot else that I think needs to be done onto the on this page. Uh, I'm not going to add a load of ephemera or anything like that because I don't really think it needs it. I don't want to detract from the background that I created really. Um, so I'm not going to be adding any real ephemera to this, just a little bit of a um, little bit more colour and a little bit sparkle once I've got my title down. I can do that and of course I will take the um, post-it note off the photograph a little bit later on. Um, so I'm just going to create my journaling tag. So I worked out where I want to create it and I cut this piece of paper and then thought to myself why did I not use my puppy cutter <laughs> which will give me a straight line. So uh, I just come in here with the paper cutter which I have just gotten a new blade today for so it's, it's cutting absolutely lovely. And then I do exactly the same with this piece. I cut this with the scissors and then decide to go in with my cutter and make sure that it's straight. <clears throat> I have taken all those little bits of this paper and put them in the bin. I'm not keeping any more of this. I really don't like this paper. I was so surprised he chose it. Um, so I'm just going to cut the corners off here to make these look like tags. And um, then I'm going to go in there to stick them together because I want them to stay like that. Um, and uh, just to freak my husband out, I made a, a page with a tag that yesterday and only one of the tags came out. And this time I'm only going to use one as writing, but both of them are going to come out. Came in with my Japanese screen, screw punch there to make the holes and I'm cutting a bit of uh, green string as well. You may notice that I had the string in a tic-tac box. I cut all the little bits of string off presents, off the ones that come on clothes and I put all of them in the tic-tac boxes and I have them in a drawer here so that I can quickly and easily find the colour of string and or ribbon that I'm looking for. Great way to put them, to store them. Um, and so they're easily accessible when you need them. So I've tied the little strings around my tags and I'm really happy with that. Um, just coming in with the house to stick that down. And the last thing to do is I've got my journaling pen and I have some Spiegel Mum sequins. These ones were exclusively for Thompson Craft Supplies uh, and they are a perfect green that goes with these papers. <clears throat> so I kind of drop these down on the page but then there are some gold ones in here and some brown ones and I thought I don't really want those so I took them off and the sequins seemed to have a habit of wanting to fall two together which I didn't really like so I ended up just deciding where I wanted these which is not something that I do very often because I find that I don't do random very well <laughs> so... So there's the sequins down using my glossy accents to stick them. Love my glossy accents. And uh, <clears throat> now the last thing, a little bit of splatter with my mermaid markers. And um, then our page is complete bar our cat, I think, and my bit of journaling. So I'm going to use a grey uh, uni pin uh, pen to do the journaling here. Uh, I bought this one today. Grey is fantastic. I find that sometimes the black looks too stark um, and it's been bothering me for a little while. So uh, during my trip out today I picked up this grey pen and I absolutely love it because it just, it, it doesn't really look grey. It looks like a very light, it is a light, light black. It just, people just think it's black and potentially faded a little bit, but it just doesn't look so harsh and anything to make my writing look a little less harsh and a little less horrible is is all right in my book so journaling done and the last thing is to hide my cat which of course i have a big house there which the cat is going to sit at the very bottom of i hope you've enjoyed my page today here's the stills and uh, i hope this has inspired you and uh, you might like to give this a go give us a thumbs up like and subscribe and we will see you again next week okay thanks bye